my boss called me and said there was a fire and we knew that a fire was coming at some point we just didn't know when and um, he said he needed us back I'm a wildland firefighter so um, so as I was coming back I got to Austin and saw the plume of smoke and knew it was gonna be pretty bad came to work and uh, I was work for like the next five days straight Wanting to see what Mother Nature can do. I mean, you can imagine what it was like, but just to see the power of what a fire can do in the aftermath, it's crazy. Yeah, it's interesting to see, they'll see, you know, a group of 100 trees just burnt to the ground, basically, and then one or two trees, huge trees just stand in the middle of them still alive. Like, how does Mother Nature work out to where one tree in the middle of all those burnt trees survives? I've seen uh, it in its, you know, sort of natural glory, if you will, or original glory. But I, but I think that's the beauty of this forest. I mean, after all the destruction, you look around, it, there, there's something very beautiful about sort of these stripped down, blackened trees and all that. It just adds to the beauty of the place, I guess. You know, we like to bring our kids with us. This is the one state park we've been to without our kids. And uh, we try to get them outdoors, keep them interested in the outdoors, and then you know, through social media, pro posting our pictures of being out the out in the outdoors, and you know, hashtag TX State Parks, and just encourage people to get out and enjoy it. I think it'd be cool to get people to come out and do more like volunteer work by saying, "Come plant a tree to regrow bass drop." I think that would be really cool. Like, kind of say, like, leave your mark in the yeah. park. <laughs> yeah, that actually right. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, a lot of volunteering or even like geotagging is a big thing. So if like a meetup could come here and set up things along the trails that are open um, and have people, you know, really get involved in social media like Instagram, Facebook, um, I think that would be really beneficial to get people out here as well. It's very difficult to kind of explain to younger people what it's like to go out and breathe the fresh air and like, you know, because yeah, they have their own priorities. You know, the idea is to unwind, uh, you know, get away from the city, our phones, and you know, uh, and yeah, and just be in the nature. I mean, it's, it's really about, yeah, taking our kids and making them realize that there's so much beyond the four walls of our home, and you know, be in the real world.